It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets on Sunday night. The bright lights of Broadway just to the east of us, and we are under the lights as well at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it will be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New York Jets. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, Denver. And then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So the new look Jets ready to go on offense and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this, this is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Throwing is Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. But Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon, and what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure out and make him deliver the ball on time. It's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep, that's when you're in big trouble. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? I mean, let's go and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 33, here's second and a couple. On play action, now Rodgers. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And he is going to have the Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make the play ourselves and maybe change things up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. 
Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Hey, 626! Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Then we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. On play action, Allen. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. For 30 more yards and another first down. Now, we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go back to brother's thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. On play action, Allen. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in. He's just got to throw this one away. Throwing his Allen on third. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills are going to tie the game at three. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and ten from the 25. Throwing now is Rodgers. He completes it to Wilson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Here's Rodgers to throw. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. These two teams all tied after one. Now a second and two. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he stopped after a game of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Here's Hardy set to return. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Allen off the play fake. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Not only they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Through the middle of the field. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. To the air, Allen. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass, and the Bills have taken the lead. But there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. This is Lazard with a catch out left. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Go to me! Go to me! Easy, 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 easy. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on the out route. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Well, we saw that indeed picking up the first. 
He really tried to thread that down the seam. Yeah, he tried to rip that one, didn't he? But a throw with that velocity, necessary when you're trying to hit a quick hitter like that one. Timing execution has to be perfect. Unfortunately for him, that one fell to the ground. Rodgers will try again on second down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Now Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 35. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Rodgers. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Rodgers again now. He'll dump this off to Cook. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. It's going to wind up incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that'll bring them back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. Just inside of a minute left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll be out right at the 35. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Here's Allen on first and 10. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Allen looks to throw on second down. To the sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up here at that time. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Allen. That is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Broken tackle. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and the Jets will take over. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with them trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Hey, check 26. Rodgers now on first down. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Yes. 
And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazaro. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And that will keep this a four-point game. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. Getting through the break at record pace and right back to football. Third quarter, here we go. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and get them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. 36 yards on the play. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm. But this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. Allen again here on second and ten. He's got an open man. It's Diggs on the comebacker. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Allen to throw once more. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and three at the Jets' 11-yard line. Now Allen. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. They'll run with Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the run. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Harris is in. Touchdown, Bills. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all the first half, at least running the football, but here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. 
And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. On the return, Hardy. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs, 62 yards. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. The New York set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On second down, here's Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Rodgers now to throw. Caught, it's Wilson. That he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three. It leaves him with fourth and one. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. Fielded at the 20. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, one quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Here's Allen to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Jets will take over first and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Rodgers completes it to Hardman. And he's brought down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he'll be knocked to the ground right there at the 22. Rodgers throwing for the out route. He finds Wilson. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Going right back to Wilson. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Breaks going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Aaron Rodgers, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes it 24-13. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Bills are going to recover. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. 
So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. So Allen's going to look to throw. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we started writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now they got to get to the line quickly. And meanwhile, Rodgers throw into the hands here of Hardman. And they're going to speed things up here. Rodgers to throw once more. Open man here is Conklin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He's going to get this one down to Cook, and he's brought down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And again, it's Rodgers. toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial. And this is going to be intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn.